Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 12. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to style your website using CSS. So we're finally taking a look at CSS. And if you guys can remember from the first video in the series, I told you that CSS is how we style our website. Uh, CSS gets to determine things like uh, what font family we're using, what color our text is going to be, if we're gonna have background images or not. All of that kind of stuff uh, can be added with CSS. And um, well, now that I've, I've given you a quick reminder, let's uh, take a look at my document here. So right now, uh, it is a blank document. It was just a blank template. There's nothing in uh, the body. Take a look at that in the browser. Uh, it's just a blank uh, file and if we look in my htdocs folder, I just have one index file, so there's nothing else. Um, so let me uh, start showing you guys how to use CSS, but before we do that, we need to actually have some text or something to manipulate. So I'm just gonna add a paragraph here and let's make it say something like style me. Right, so let me save this, come back over to the browser, hit refresh, and you can see it's showing nice and big because I'm zoomed in at 300%. Uh, so that's what it would normally look like, but let's just zoom in so I can uh, show you guys uh, just how to style this paragraph and also so that you guys can see a little bit more clearly. Right, so uh, there are three ways we can style elements on our page. The first way is inline CSS. The second way is uh, an, a style sheet that is embedded uh, within our document. And then the second or the third way is an external style sheet. So I'm gonna show you the first two, uh, inline CSS and I'll show you uh, style tags on our document. And then when that is done in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to use an external style sheet. So, uh, taking a look at this uh, element, inline CSS is when you add an attribute to a specific element. So let's add a style attribute, and this will only style one element at a time. It'll only style the element that uh, you have made a style rule for. So in this case, it's gonna uh, style this paragraph, and I want to change the color of this text to blue, right? So uh, within your style attribute, there are a, a number of uh, values that you can set. There are really a large number of values. Um, but what I wanna do is I want to grab a uh, property. The name for this thing is called a property uh, called color. And then I'm going to separate my property with a colon. So it's property, colon, and then another value for whatever this, uh, this property should be equal to. Uh, so those are big <laughs> terms um, that you kind of need to get used to, uh, but don't be confused. All we're doing is changing the color to blue, right? Now, because I only have one uh, style rule here, I'm only changing the color. Uh, it should work fine if I just save everything like this and come back over to the browser and hit refresh. Now you can see my paragraph has gone from black to blue. Uh, I can also add a different style rule in here, um, but I need to separate every single one of my style rules with a semicolon. So uh, I've put in a semicolon. Now let me add a uh, second property over here. That bird is really annoying. Okay, let me add a second property here, font uh, size. No, let's go font family. I'll change the font family. And I'm gonna change that to Helvetica. Okay, cool. I hope I spelled that right. It turned blue, I think I did. Uh, so let's save and come back over to the browser and hit refresh. And now you can see the font has changed as well. Uh, so that is how you use inline CSS if you ever want to uh, style just one element at a time. But this could be really annoying, right? Because what happens if I've got a second paragraph that uh, doesn't have these style rules, um, and I also want this one to be styled. Well, 
if it doesn't have the style rules, it's going to appear blank and unstyled, right? So I can apply, um, I can write these style rules once and apply them to every single paragraph on my page uh, by simply adding a style tag to the head. So let's add a style tag over here and uh, we'll have that of type is equal to text slash CSS. That's just telling the browser that we're using CSS within uh, the style tag. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break that down a line. I'm gonna place all my style rules over here. So let's get rid of uh, this style or styling. And uh, let's go ahead and place the exact same uh, styling up here within the style tags. Uh, so this is gonna work slightly differently because now uh, instead of, of uh, just adding a style attribute to a tag, we've got to select the tag we want to style. So in this case, I want to style all paragraphs. So I need to use a paragraph selector. So um, that would, in this case, just be a simple P. Uh, basically, what, what you do is you take the letter or the word that is in the tag that you want to style, place that over here, and then add in these two curly braces. Uh, and you can break that down a line. And uh, this is now going to select all paragraphs on our website and it's going to style them with whatever style rule I place in here. So let's grab a property of color and let's set that equal to red. Let me come back, oh, let me save this and I'll go back over to uh, the browser and hit refresh. And now you can see that with one uh, style rule, we've styled all of the paragraphs on our web page. Uh, so we only needed to type this in once. Uh, I can also change the font family over here as well uh, to Helvetica again. Uh, let's go ahead and save, come back over to the browser and uh, hit refresh and there we go. We now have um, all our fonts, uh, all our paragraphs on our, our website uh, read and they have uh, changed to Helvetica, right? Um, now, if I go ahead and add some normal text on our page, like let's just add some, uh, something outside of a P tag, right? And I save this and hit refresh. You can see that this text is not being um, styled because it is not part of a paragraph. Uh, if I were to add a paragraph tag around this, it would, whoops, it would suddenly uh, get the styling as well. Uh, so that is just pretty much how CSS works. And uh, the last thing I wanna show you guys is um, styling weight, because you have our styling sheet or our uh, style tags up at the top of our, our page in the head but we can also uh, add our inline CSS again. Uh, if I paste that, where is it there? Um, okay, if I paste this back into my tag, um, you can see that I, I now have my inline CSS and I've also got my uh, style, ta or sty style tags open. So which one of the styles do you think is going to apply? Well, there's this thing called uh, weight, CSS weight, and what happens is certain CSS can be heavier than other CSS. That's how you gotta think about it. Uh, and in this case, our style tag is at the top of our head and it's applying to all paragraphs. So it has a weight, but it's not as heavy as an inline style uh, styling rule like this. So our inline styling rule is a lot, lot heavier. And in that case, because we've got an inline styling rule to change the font, uh, the color of this uh, text to blue, um, this is going to override this because this is heavier. So let's save, come back over to the browser and hit refresh. And you can now see that um, we have a red paragraph which was styled by the text up here. And in fact, this paragraph was also styled by uh, the text up here, but then it was overwritten because an inline style sheet or an inline style tag uh, 
um, has more weight and so it was overwritten um, therefore turning this uh, tag blue and then we have unstyled text that just uh, nothing applied to because we didn't use uh, inline styling and we didn't use a selector to uh, select this text and I hope that was clear uh, we are going to be taking a look at CSS more in future uh, so hopefully um, you can just practice and play around with this try and understand it and in the next video uh, we are going to be doing this again actually so until then I'll see you guys next time I just want to send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development. And they can teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field. And they'll do it within 12 weeks, which I think is a rather impressive timeline. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Hey, thanks for staying until the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Now, while you're still here, there are a few things that you can do to help. First of all, if you haven't already, subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And if you wanna help me make more content more often, or if you feel that my content is just worth paying a little bit of money towards, you can check me out on Patreon. You can also check me out on social media. I will leave the links next to me. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.